guys the whole expat family is here and we are going to visit Wallendam. Wallendam is a little fisherman town in the Netherlands and we are going to visit it for the first time just to watch all those beautiful views and to see the ships little ships to visit fish restaurants and just to enjoy the city because it's very authentic of course it's a very touristic destination but today we just want to grab some of this very Dutch experience and to enjoy this historic center of the Netherlands and we are very happy to spend the whole day together with you so let's enjoy Wallendam together yay, yay. <laughs> we are very happy that we can finally travel by our car because Dima did the document the insurance and he changed the table license plate uh, license plate it is correctly the correct word for it so now our car all the taxes are paid uh, the insurance is paid the technical checkup is done so we can finally enjoy traveling and day trips and the weather is just perfect today it's a little bit gloomy not so sunny because there were four very hot and sunny days back uh, during the week but today is not so hot so we are very happy because just perfect weather for traveling and for those who is interested of how much of those payments with the car cost so Dima can share his experience yeah <laughs> yeah hi guys uh, so um, the insurance if you're wondering um, uh, it costed me uh, around 70 euros a month for my car uh, the car was produced in 2007 and I'm not sure whether insurance company uh, did count my driving experience in Poland so let me know is it uh, too much or not I think I was uh, registering in a in shared company so 70 euros for insurance per month uh, it will it is like kind of an, a little bit extensive insurance uh, uh, some um, additional things are insured like a, a life of a passengers and uh, the windows I think and um, against vandalism like if uh, if something is fall will fall into into a car like a, a, a tree branch um, it will be insured uh, I paid uh, for a registration of the car I don't remember how much is it like around 70 euros or so uh, like when you want to register car in a RDW it's a registration right uh, which is responsible for uh, cars and uh, things uh, around the cars so uh, they kind of uh, checked my car waited it and uh, the the whole service it was around 70 euros or so once the car is registered you have to make a license plate and it will cost you around uh, 30 40 euros uh, again for two license plates uh there are usual license plates and uh, how guys uh, told me in um in a car service uh, luxury license plate like uh, they are kind of look like 3d license plates so I took those and they look really nice uh, once car is registered you have to pay one-time tax which which is called BPM um, the older cars usually uh, for you have to pay for older car or car which produce a lot of co2 in the air but I didn't pay anything but I have to pay a usual tax for, for using and like driving my car and uh, using I, roads and using roads I have to pay um, 100 and how many cows are there oh my yeah. god I'm sorry to interrupt this uh, great <laughs> there speech, were even white cows back there oh, you Jesus. didn't see them yeah, from oh my, my god, side oh my god so many cows so beautiful and so amazing. Yeah. anyway <laughs> <laughs> coming back from cows so uh, the the tax for three months uh, it cost me 197 euros so I will have to pay it like every three months I guess uh, correct me if I'm wrong but this is how I understood this uh, this whole thing 
So uh, yeah, the owning a car in the Netherlands is not so cheap, quite an expensive thing. We came to Wallendam and we saw this offer, this ship, which goes to another town, to an island, and we decided to go to voyage and to take this ship and to buy tickets. It was 13 euro for one person, for one adult person back, um, well, return ticket and only six years for a child for return ticket. And we are so happy we are on the ship. It's so beautiful here. I'm very happy. The ship brought us to the island of Marken. It's a very little town, the fisherman village, and it is very picturesque. It's very beautiful. Like I have a feeling like I'm walking in a museum under the skies. All the houses are so beautiful. It's just so hard to express all my emotions right now. I think I was the happiest passenger on that ship because I'm just very happy to enjoy all this beauty and to share with you guys. That was a very nice walk in this town, in this fisherman village and we are a little bit hungry and a little bit tired and we came to the restaurant. It's right here guys, right on the um, harbor, right on the pass to the harbor. So this ship comes and you go out and you see this restaurant and it is called the Fische Taverne, something like that. And um, we came here to order some fish, of course. We are in a fisherman village, it's a perfect 
place to have the best fish where if not here and we really enjoyed walking in this little village we are so happy to see that life here is going on actually i don't know what Ava is doing Ava, what are you doing ah she is drawing on the window so the um, life is going on here We are back home and it is already evening. We put our kids to bed. Finally, they were very tired and very excited after the trip. So how did you like it, Dima? Oh, I liked it very much. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't spend as much time as uh, we wanted. We spent just an hour in Valendam and then we went uh, to Marken. I think we have seen enough of the Marken uh for three hours i think we just uh, fastly walk through the um, main uh, side scene of the market but we haven't visited like a cheese museum we, ha we haven't visited the klompen museum mm -hmm. and the fabric where the klompen are produced we haven't we, we have seen uh, one small museum nearby the kirch in the kind of town hall center yeah. Uh, I, I can barely name it town hall because like it's in a little tiny yeah, it's, house. It's, 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 so, it's so little like it's it's almost like a toys <laughs> yeah but it's very nice place we really like the restaurant uh, this fisherman restaurant it was very cozy and it, the food was tasty the prices were okay and I think it's really if you guys are coming from I don't know from any other country from France Belgium from Poland as well from Germany you can really plan like two or three days for this region because there is also Adam very beautiful place there is Horn right yes Horn um, and uh, Valendam and uh, Marken so you can really plan five or six hours for each of these places to spend time there and you also can rent your bike you also can rent a bike there or bring your bikes and enjoy riding there cycling it's always it's it's also amazing yeah yeah, yeah. some uh, some some of the people when we were uh, on a ship traveling from Valendam yeah. to uh, Marken um, i think like 20% of the people they were by rented bikes so they can yes. come to the board uh, with, with their bikes i think it costs like one and f one euro fifty cents more for the ticket, so we have pay additionally for a, a, mm. a, a bike. But I, I don't think it's a big price, uh, especially considering like then you, that you can travel through the whole island of Marken uh, with the bike. So and even motorbikes. Uh, there were a couple yeah, of motorbikes. Yeah, yeah, and more bikes. So more definitely bikes. recommend it. We will also make our wish list and our bucket list of um, the Netherlands what to see in the Netherlands but this place is really re highly highly recommended thank you guys for watching this video thanks cheers <laughs> and see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>